<laughs> oh dear. Can uh, I've got some oh really God, you haven't you? I got you some prepped. good rugby questions. Oh God, have you God. actually? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, can we do? Can we do a couple of my rugby questions? Go for it. I really want to take them off. Go All right. So here, okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be um, nice, but I don't know the answers to any of these. Now. Yeah, maybe. Who's been your wildest teammate and why? So Joe Marler's the obvious one, Joe obvious Marler. one, and he's the one that people might know. Yeah. I know. I know the name. You know the name? Yeah. Do you know the name? Yeah. yeah. He's an odd kid. Okay. <laughs> um, also a lovely kid, but yeah, he's he's a good lad, but yeah, he uh, is himself and just owns it. Really? And so yeah. he's wild in what way? <sighs> <laughs> I don't, he's an, a total enigma. You really? can't describe him. Um, I don't know, yeah. What you see on TV and um, podcast is exactly what you get. Right, right. And like, yeah, he's he's a very bizarre bloke. <laughs> I don't know if it's like, obviously some stuff's covered up here, what people get up to, professional players and stuff, but I spent a bit of time in Australia. Okay. And over there it was like, it seemed to be way more accepted that the rugby guys were just loose as fuck all the time. <laughs> yeah. And they'd be on the news, like, I remember there was one thing with, I was in um, Cronulla, Cronulla Sharks, mm -hmm. remember them. Like, and it'd just be on the news, like, oh yeah, Cronulla Sharks went out last night, stole some golf carts, drove them down the highway. It's like, it was just like a thing that was just more... I accepted. think you're right. Yeah. I think over here, especially being in London, like, there's no, like, there's no protection, that kind of thing. Mm. Like, we're not that big a deal. Like, if we muck around somewhere, like, we'll get kicked you're out. just going to get, yeah. Like... Normal treatment. Normal treatment, yeah. yeah. Whereas I think in maybe some of the smaller towns you can kind of get away with a bit more I think. <laughs> but yeah um i think you're right though in australia it's kind of yeah def it's definitely more accepted yeah um and over here like rugby still has a bad name for that kind of stuff okay um really? but mainly at, like lower league clubs and universities are terrible right in terms of like drinking initiations and stuff like that mm. but, but yeah rugby proper clubs are kind of pretty tame at the moment I okay think. yeah interesting um What's the worst injury? It's quick fire. I'm quick so fire. sorry. Oh, it's really, it's not that not. It shouldn't be. What's the worst injury you've played through? Played through? I was yeah. telling you all about this earlier as well, actually. So I broke my finger, which doesn't sound that bad, but I thought it was dislocated. So I tried to pop it back in. So I gave it a good yank and a twist, tried to pop it back in, and kind of just twisted the whole thing round. And so when I, <laughs> when I bent my finger, it was kind of bending over this way instead. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they kind of just strapped it together to the next one and were like play as long as you can I probably played like 20 more minutes and I was like look I'm, I'm done <laughs> I'm done. I need to come off um, this isn't that good yeah, Turns out I was like this isn't, this isn't good um, and yeah so then I yeah came off x-ray it was broken we knew that anyway yeah. operation the next week and then yeah but how long does that take to get back Six weeks, something five yeah. weeks, six weeks. Bones are easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I once I fix, I fix. I think. True, yeah. true. Um, I had a, a sort of yeah, a friend really who played, I guess, semi professional rugby in Sheffield. Sheffield, I can't remember the name of Tigers. I think it is. Anyway, not a clue. But I remember talking to him, and he was talking once about like some of the stuff that goes on, like on the field, maybe that you wouldn't normally see. Maybe little grabs here, pinches there. Fingers go in places they shouldn't. So what's something that like, happens <sighs> on the pitch? Honestly, now not much. You know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm I not do, making this up, am I? There's, <laughs> there's so many cameras around now yeah. that there's nothing. Like I remember when I used to watch rugby, like people getting out eye gouged the whole, whole time, stuff like that. But yeah, it doesn't happen. Right. Isn't there much trash talk? People talk smack at each other? <sighs> Sometimes. Not, not massively. Quite I'm gentlemanly like, yeah. otherwise. Yeah, I was is thinking it like, actually, yeah, like a it, like a pinch or a pinch is horrible, isn't it? If you're in a scrum, pinchings don't happen. I don't know. Oh, a pinch, like on the inside of your thigh and stuff. That'd yeah, it'd be horrible, but horrible. We're not that pathetic, I don't think. <laughs> I'd like to think no we're pinching. not that pathetic. No, feel <laughs> <laughs> <A little> pinch. <laughs> Mental. Oh dear, I like uh, that. What I other can, ones have you got on your quick I can see far? From I like <laughs> the quick far. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm okay, all right, good at yeah. Okay. Um, so, I'll just say it as I've written it. You've had a long association with the Harlequins. What does the club mean to you and how has it shaped your career? Wow, okay. That's a, lo that's that's a lovely a lo question, honestly. Thank yeah. you. God. Yeah. 
I don't know, like, yeah, as I, as you said, was there for a long time. But I think probably like 16 years in total, maybe, from when I was younger. <sighs> yeah. yeah, that's about right. Um, so, yeah, it, it means so so much. Like, when I when I first left, there was kind of, it was, it was a big battle to find another club. So it's kind of like, will I have to retire here? Like, is it a good decision to just call it a day, retire then? And yeah. I, I would have hated to have retired back then. Um, so getting to come back and play for them again was, was amazing. Like, so good. You get a big welcome um, when you came back as well. Fans and stuff. Yeah, yeah. F- fans are great. Um, it helps that I'm quite recon- recognisable, I think. So, yeah, <laughs> the fans all know me. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, coming, coming home it was, was so good. Mm. Um, and yeah, I think it'll be a club I'm involved with forever now, I think, in terms really? of, yeah, in terms of going to watch, just like keeping in contact with the players. Um, yeah. Do you have like, um, almost like, what do you call it, like VIP status if you go to the, you go to the stadium, you can just go in, watch any game. Is it like that? At, at the moment, maybe. I'm not sure about <laughs> next year. Not after this podcast. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> though, yeah, just... Maybe send a text to the right person, get a ticket. Yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. Cool. I think it's really cool, like the the family aspect yeah. of team sports. So it's, it's same it's like in that with your brother, sport. isn't it? Like yeah, you just exactly. go and hang like, out. It's just, I think it's really nice. And also like, like literally the program that you came from, I guess there's, as players, you sort of remain involved with, with that a bit, like the, the oh, yeah, years yeah. and the development squad and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so we'll have similar player appearances to, I guess, you guys with sponsorship appearances. Let's get sent off down to the to coach the Do young you? lads for a bit. Mate, I was interested in that because you've got a lot of sponsors on your jersey. And and a lot of like team sports don't necessarily like uh, make the most of mm. their athletes. You know, mm. Certainly as a bike rider, you're just like, expe- it's expected of you the whole time. Oh, no, so definitely. I think... They kind of pick and choose a lot more, I think. Send you to the big events they want you at. Right, yeah. Um, and yeah, then, then that tends to be the big players as well. There is there is a little middle ground. So yeah. when you're young, you get sent to all the rubbish ones. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, turning on the Christmas lights at some random village in Sussex or something like that. <laughs> you get sent off to that. And then when you're like a big time player, you get sent off to, to all the like the massive like premier sponsor events and then yeah. in running in the middle there's a little bit where you don't have to do anything which is ideal <laughs> um but no we've had some good ones as well like we were sponsored by etihad airways for a bit oh man which is amazing so again coming back to the first time we're in the prem final they flew us out to Abu Dhabi for the week just to, for wow. a training camp the, the week before the final so that was cool um and you just had to i think we had to go to like an, one event and meet some people that was it yeah so yeah you get some Cool perks of sponsors as well. Okay. Okay. Hey, man, what an episode that was. You did amazing in it. And so did you. You shone like a star. You shone like a moon. Can we also put something up here that you can click on for the next episode? How about we put a subscribe up there in the middle? Yeah, lovely. We're going to put a video we think that our uh, lovely companionship will love on your face. On my face? Yeah. And on my. see me now. Gone. And on my face, another video that we think people will love. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please hit like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Peace and love.